Hello everyone and welcome to CloudyML. In this video, we will compare Julia, Python and R. So before I begin, I would like you all to note that all these languages have their own set of audiences. And my effort here will be to discuss the pros and cons of these languages from a neutral ground. So let's begin. So before bringing in Julia here, let us first compare between Python and R, who seems to be the three decade old competitors. So these are the parameters here and this is R and Python. So this chart actually gives out of most of the differences between Python and R. Uh, so Python first version came uh, in 1991 and R's first version came in 1993. Uh, in terms of their business objective or the things which can they do, so Python is generally classified as, Python is generally classified as general purpose programming language. General, general purpose. Because this can be used for the analytics of also along with the web development, and many more while r is mostly good for data analysis and statistical modeling now when i come up to their usages so python is a go-to language for all those people who have actually studied computer science have been employed in the software development roles and they have using uh, lots of other languages like C, Py, uh, C, Java and all. So for all those guys, Python can be a very easy language to begin to learn. And plus, since Python is a general purpose programming language, so it can be used for a variety of purposes. While R is, has been generally used by statisticians and mathematicians. Statis, statisticians. Uh, don't mind the spelling. So I'm just telling you it is generally used by statisticians and mathematicians. And mostly R has been mostly uh, this R language is used for research research purposes and mo mostly r and d this because r is actually it it cannot handle a large data set it is basically used for mathematical modeling statistical modeling for all those people who are into the research and development kind of a role because this can provide the minute interpretation, minute features of the data set. You can run statistical tests in it. So generally this has been used for used by statisticians and mathematicians. One more disadvantage R has it. It locally run it, it is locally uh, run programs it can make while it can actually python can actually uh, make a web app and you can host it on any server so as i said python is basically a general purpose programming language and that is why you can use python for variety of purposes while r's actual uh, work or actual uh, working theory has always been uh, into the research and development field where statisticians and mathematicians actually work with her. Going forward, I would like to summarize Python and R. So Python is better for handling massive amount of data. Number one, building deep learning model. Along with that, it can also use to work with computer vision, NLP, all these things can be done by Python. And it can also perform non-statistical tasks like web scrapping, 
saving to databases and running workflows. Also, recently in in the near times, uh, the Python has also got some good libraries like stats model, which gives R like interpretation, which give R like interpretation for the machine learning algorithms. So I, I won't deny now that Python has become one of the holistic tools and you can also use it like nearly like R to interpret the models. While R is better for creating graphs and data visualization, building statistical model, it is a robust ecosystem of statistical packages. The packages are also very much uh, like oriented, inclined towards statistical uh, analysis and all. So final conclusion, uh, if, you, if you are someone who doesn't know Python, nor you know R, and you want to start your career in the field of analytics, and you are more inclined towards uh, building a general purpose programs with a practical approach, it is it is very important for you to go to python this is a general purpose and a practical kind of a language but if you are going to be a research of a person who wants to uh, analyze the data set statistically and all r should be better for you people so after i think uh, you all have gained much importance and much uh, better clarity where Python is good for and where R is good for. So Python is good for basically a general purpose programming, uh, building deep learning models, computer vision, NLP, all other tasks Python can do. R is better for basically statistical uh, modeling. It cannot, it is not good for handling a large amount of data set. And these are basic conclusions. So now, after we are clear with this, let us jump and compare Julia with Python. Now, we are comparing Julia and Python. So Julia is quite a new uh, language. The research started in 2009 and the first version of Julia came uh, into being at around 2012 and python has released its first version in 1991 so you can see julia is a very new language here and since because it's a new language because it's a new language so the popularity is bound to be less Popularity is bound to be less and that is why the community, the community who actually uses Julia is quite less. So if community of Julia is quite less, there are less people who help, who can help you when you run into a problem. While Python has been from last three decades, it has huge popularity, huge community. And if you have any problem and if you are stuck somewhere, you can simply use Stack Overflow and there will be someone who can answer because th there are a lot of people who are using it. So the first advantage of Python over Julia is the inception time and the popularity. But nevertheless, Julia is also catching up, but it will take a certain time for Julia to compete with Python. So I I can I cannot say that Julia is even nearing the Python's popularity, but yes, it is slowly and gradually building up. Now the most important advantage of Julia over Python is the speed, speed and performance. Julia is faster than Python and close to that. Uh, that of C. I mean, it is. it has like C type speed, C programming type speed. But Python is actually slower as compared to Julia, but 
now many uh, things or many uh, things are happening which is which is like making python easier to speed up but the major advantage of julia and the number one advantage of julia over python is the speed and the reason for this speed being greater than python is simply because Py uh, julia is a compiled language julia is a compiled language compiled language means the entire piece of code will run and you will get the output while python is an interpreted language interpreted language so python code runs from top to bottom and it runs line by line and wherever in whatever line you get there you, it will show you so that is why the, the speed and performance is fairly good compared to python this is the advantage of julia as i said the community this is the disadvantage this uh, python is very good here in this aspect now the code conversion so julia julia uh, can actually bring in lot of libraries from c but python has a difficulty doing that then you have array indexing so julia works in one like the array for julia starts from one two and so on but python array starts from zero one two then so since it's one indexed it might cause a problem for programmers of other language like if suppose you are coming from other languages and you are learning uh, julia then you might have to train your mind that julia has uh, is doing an uh, array indexing of one and if you come about uh, come to libraries or the packages julia has around 7k plus libraries uh, 7000 plus libraries it has while python has around 200k plus library you cannot match python in this python has a rich source of libraries and packages which can perform multiple tasks with ease while julia is still uh, uh, like is having around 7000 to 8000 libraries but yes it is building up but python you cannot match python here so these are the basic basic differences what what julia and python has so basically, if you would ask me which one to choose, and suppose I am someone who does not know any language, neither Julia nor R nor Python. So what should I learn? So the basic thing is you can learn whatever you want, but it depends upon what you want to do. If I am a research and an analysis person, and I don't have to make some robust code and robust uh, applications. I would rather go and learn R because that would give me some academic type approach towards machine learning and other you know, kind of data visualization thing. But suppose I am someone who wants to make robust applications, some applications for ML, AI and all, it is better for me for now to either go with Julia or Python. But obviously, uh, if you go with Python, you can get a lot of community support. Plus, there are a lot of people who are using Python. So maybe it is the easier way. But Julia is also not lagging behind. Now in 2023, if I have to be precise, Julia had nearly 3 crore around 3 crore plus downloads so the community is catching up so you can choose either of them yes python can be a easy start because there are people to help you out and it has also got the library and recently it has also gained up speed and it is easier to speed up but similar fashion you can use julia also i would not say that you should restrict yourself to learn Julia. It is only 
the thing of concern because of the community and maybe the lesser number of libraries but yes i don't think so that in future like 10 10 decades from here or like sorry one decade from this time maybe by uh, 20 uh, 34 or like 10 decades at uh, one decades i think julia can uh, easily give a tough competition to python yes it will need more time now because it it takes community it takes time for community to grow so this is about it guys and yeah there are other differences also like if you can see julia has been uh, like made by some people some developers here while python has been a full course developmental stages which have which has gone to building it okay then the packages starts from like uh, packages uh, it is it has like dot gl kind of packages and you have dot py and other other kind of you know uh, uh, things which is associated with python's packages and other things are also there but i think this is mostly the important thing which can give you a clear clarity on julia over python and or, and python over julia okay so that's it guys i hope i was clear giving you some better idea about which languages to choose and my suggestion again would be uh, you can first of all try to learn any one languages if you are mostly inclined towards research development and you are not there to build a, some robust applications and all please go and learn r but if you are someone who wants a practical approach towards uh programming you want to make some robust applications you can either choose python or julia uh python can be an easier thing to do because there are people there there are the community is very good very high plus they have plenty of libraries to work with but nevertheless julia is catching up and if you want to learn julia go ahead because as far as data analytics is concerned i i am very sure that julia is having a lot of other libraries which can actually make your make your model very clear and very robust so that's it for the video guys thank you and if you like the video please subscribe our channel and share it with the others thank you